I remind you this evening that even Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela was commanding, he was, he, he was commanding the, 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 uh, the group. He was leading the group right from his prison cell. Nelson Mandela was giving order. He was leading his group right from the prison, from the prison room. Because law is what it is. The justice system is what it is. It is now we are going to know whether Biafra people are actually ready for the freedom of Biafra or not. It is now we are going to know it is called the second coming of Mazin Namdekano. And let me tell you, let me just tell you people, it is something that has been designed by God. <laughs> this is something that has been designed by God. If actually he is in Nigeria, it is something that has been designed by God to happen. And if you have been following the agitation for a while, you would understand there are so many prophecies. There are so many prophecies about the second coming of Mazen Namdekano. You think Mazen Namdekano will ordinarily come to Nigeria and just to come and stay in Nigeria. You think Mazen Namdekano will ordinarily take his cloth and come to Nigeria. Is a prophecy is a prophecy being fulfilled. Different prophetic revolution have said it that there is a second coming of Mazen Namdekano to Nigeria. And they saw him coming. We did not know from which contest how he is going to come to Nigeria and all that. A lot of Biafrans has been murdered and killed in their cold blood. And Mazen Namdekano crime is that he said, let my people go. Let my people go. Mazinam the kind of crime has been that he won the best for the Biafra people. Mazinam the kind of crimes is that he rose up against jihadist government. Mazinam the Kano crime is that he rose against the flanization of Nigeria. He rose against the extermination of Christians and indigenous people in Nigeria. Anywhere you are today, anywhere you are, and whether you are a Nigerian, whether you are a Biafran, whether you are Odutuwa, whether you are from the Middle Belt, whether you are from other African country, know it. The crime Mazenam the Kano committed is that he refused to be compelled to bow down into a different God. He refused to be compelled to be a slave in a country that is being ruled by terrorists. The crime as in the Kano commit was that he said, those who killed our people, you will not go free. The way you killed our people by guns, you will also die by guns. The way you come to our land, protect the terrorists full and need, arm them to invade our farmland and our home, slaughter our women and children. Mazinam the Kanu rose against this. His crime was that when everybody in Nigeria become helpless, Mazinam the Kanu did everything to train armies, indigenous armies that will serve a self-defense army of the people of Biafra. What crime Mazen Namdekano committed is to rise up in the face of injustice and say enough is enough. And as Mazen Namdekano try to protect the life of our people by doing everything humanly and inhumanly possible, the entire Biafra rose up 
in support of him. 70 million, over 70 million Biafra all over the world, both in Nigeria and the diaspora, rose up to support every movement of the indigenous people of Biafra under the leadership of Mazin Ambikano. So those of you who will be writing rubbish, for those who will be writing all manner of stories, we are telling you to disregard any story you hear from anywhere. Disregard any story about whether he was arrested in Brazil, whether he was arrested in Kafanchan, whether he was arrested in UK, whether he was arrested in Germany, whether he was arrested in the United States, it doesn't matter. What matters is that Mazinam Dikano has come back if actually he's arrested. What matters is that Mazinam Dikano is now in Nigeria. And for those of you who has been agitating and asking him to come back, remember to also live up to the expectation. Do not harm him. Do not kill him. If you kill him, believe me, you will have all yourself Everybody in Nigeria will regret it. Let me make it very clear that the Nigeria government has made the biggest mistake of their life. The biggest mistake in the sense that Mazenam Dikano command and control the Biafra volunteers who volunteer to fight against terrorist Fulanese. If Mazenam Dikano is not is nowhere to be found. You know what is going to happen. If Mazen Namdikano is not where to be found, you know the anger of young men and women who have volunteered, sacrificed everything in their life to make sure that we stop the Fulanese invasion of our land. It is going to be disaster. It is going to be disaster. Let me also make it very clear that Biafra have thousands, if not millions, of Mazen Namdikano, and you are going to see millions of them. What we are doing is according to international law. We are protected because there is a law of self-defense. We have had terrorist group being sponsored by Nigeria government to come to our land with AK-47 and kill our women. How do you defend yourself? When the Nigeria government and the Nigeria military cannot come and confront the Fulanese, we have never in anywhere all over Nigeria in the news had that during the time of massacre in Benue State, military were there to come to repel them. We've never heard that during the massacre in Ebony State, the Fulani military were there to repel them. We've never heard that during the massacre in Delta State, the Fulani terrorists the government or the police or the army were there to, to confront and repel the attackers. The attacks in Yoruba land, we have not one day read in the news that the military came and repelled the attack. The killers in the south-south of Nigeria, we have never one day hear that the military came there and they repelled the attackers. It has always been we are counting our losses after they came after they came in the night when women and children are sleeping, they slaughter them, butcher them, cut them into pieces. It is always the Biafra people counting their losses. It is always other Nigerian indigenous people counting their losses. It is always the Yoruba people counting their losses. We have never seen the Nigerian military, the police, engaging Fulani Hesmen who come in the name of headers to kill and run our land over. Let me make it very clear that we are agitating for the freedom of our people. And the freedom fight comes with a lot of price. The freedom fight, fighting is something that you have to take it by force. Every country of this world, from Germany to Finland to the United Kingdom, every country of this, of this world fought war to be able to free. We have said, we do not want war, but if it is the war that we are going to use to get Biafra, we are ready for the second civil war between Nigeria and Biafra. 
The arrest of Mazen Namdekano will not change that position. The arrest of Mazen Namdekano will not change the position of Biafra people. If it is by war, we are going to fight that war. If it is by referendum, we are going to be ready for that referendum. But let me make it very clear. Every country of this world fought some war to be free. Finland fought Russia. They fought a very bloody war with Russia before they got their independence. And if Nigeria government controlled by terrorists are not ready to give us our freedom, the war may not come today. If you are not fighting the war now, it does not mean that the war is not going to come. If you arrest Mazen Namdekano, does not mean that there are no other agitators who, who are going to be very deadly than him, more even deadlier than him. That you arrest Mazen Namdekano and say, let him go to Nigeria and face that he jumped bail. He jumped bail. You know, I believe that Mazen Namdekano knows if he do not want to go to Nigeria, he should have known what to do. I believe it is a prophecy fulfilled. He was not listed in a, in a wanted list of the Interpol. He is not in the, in the list of those who are wanted by Interpol. And the news is that Interpol arrested him. If Interpol arrested him, fine. Which country were responsible for issuing the extradite of, uh, to extradite Mazin Amdikano to Nigeria? On the ground that he have a, a case pending. A case pending. Under international human rights law, he is protected not to be deported or extradited to a country where he is going to suffer and where he will be subjected to degrading treatment and human treatment. And if he must be extradited to Nigeria to continue the trial in Nigeria, then the Nigeria government must have signed a kind of agreement compelling them that he is going to have a fair trial. The Nigeria government must have been made to sign agreement stating that they agree that Mazen Amdekano is going to have a fair trial in Nigeria and that his life will be protected. That is where that is the way to do extraditement. That is the way to do a, a high profile case like Mazen Amdekano. You don't just arrest him and throw him to Nigeria. It is not done anyway. And I believe that what I am saying now is actually what has transpired. Because some of us are yet to even confirm the arrest as I speak. But if that is what has transpired, then the Nigeria government must have signed a contract. They must have signed a contract stating very clear that he, he, his life is safe and he is going to have a fair trial in Nigeria. Even though we are not going to trust whatever they call fair trials, we know that Nigeria government is a signatory to so many international treaties, including the international human rights laws. And on this note, like I said, every Biafrans must make sure that it is time you rise up like never before. Let this be a stepping stone. This is a call for more brutal way of Biafra actualization. We are not relenting. We are going to fight till last man standing for Biafra freedom. And like I said, if you follow the history of Mandela of South Africa, if you follow the history of all different revolutions across Europe, most of the leaders were leading this group from, the, from, the, from their prison cell. I don't want anybody to join on this program. Please do not come because you have the link. Do not come to this program. And those of you calling me, the reason why I have come live to address this issue is because a lot of calls are coming and I cannot be talking to people individually. Those people I feel I have spoken to, those people I feel it is need to speak to them, I have done so. 
And those that I'm not yet, I have not yet spoken to, I'm going to speak to you at the end of this program. But the point I'm trying to make here is that disregard any frivolous and fallacious news. Disregard any articles because you know those who have been uh, wanting and wishing that something happens to Mazin Namdikano, they are already on top of the gear. They are already typing and writing a lot of articles. I have come across articles claiming he was arrested in Brazil where he go to meet a woman. I have read the article claiming he was arrested in there. He was arrested in Abuja. He was arrested in London. He was arrested. It doesn't matter where he was arrested. What matters is that the way you are going to see the arrest and the extradition, if there is anything like that, of Mazen Amdekano is the second coming of Mazen Amdekano. It is a prophecy fulfilled. It is a prophecy fulfilled. Those of you who are the lawyers of the indigenous people of Biafra in Nigeria, you know what to do. You know what to do. We are not going to teach you your job. We are not going to teach you your job. You know exactly what to do. But the most important thing is that all Biafra must come together. It is time to rise in oneness. It is time to be brave. It is time to tell the world that Biafra has come. It is time to tell the world that we are not relenting. The resolute must be defined again. We must make sure that everything, every stone is on turn. And let me tell you, the trial of Mazen Namdikano will call the attention of so many people. The trial of Mazen Namdikano will call attention of the world. And the beginning of Biafra is here. I want you all to know that as I speak now, ad, 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 uh, abduction of our people are ongoing in the eastern part of Nigeria. And let me also warn the politician in the southeast. When you think that the channel or, or the pipe has been broken, you think that by arresting Mazinam the Kano, you have defeated the struggle for Biafra. My brother, if you are thinking towards this line, that the arrest of Mazinam the Kano has defeated the struggle for Biafra, you are not a human being. Because now you are going to see the evil of those fighting for the freedom of Biafra. If you think that the arrest and prosecution of Mazen Namdekano on the gods that he jumped bail, he jumped bail, a bail that he jumped when the Nigerian military went to Python dance in his house, he escaped. He escaped. And you expect such person to continue to be in Nigeria. You expect somebody such person to continue to be in Nigeria. And let me make it very clear. We have seen a lot of video. We have seen pictures. Nobody has been able to show his video. At least I have not seen the video. I have not seen video of him in Nigeria. We have seen pictures. We have seen uh, BBC sharing uh, pictures. We have seen BBC going live. We have seen somebody, one of the human rights uh, lawyer in Nigeria, telling the story of how uh, DSS came into the premises and uh, he was, you know, thinking that this must be a high profile case. And all of a sudden, Mazen Amdekano came out of the car. Nobody has been able to show a video. That is not to say that I'm denying or I am saying they didn't arrest him. But to us, it is still an alleged, an alleged arrest until we begin to see the evidence of his arrest, until we begin to see the video of him in the court. We will begin to, we continue to say it is an alleged. Another thing is that. If he has come to Nigeria, like I said, it is time everybody buckle up because Biafra is here and it is a prophecy fulfilled. Now, for when I listen to that human rights lawyer who uh, the, uh, the, uh, somebody interviewed and he was saying that uh, Mazin Namdikanu jumped bail and so the court will not grant him bail again. The court will not grant him bail again. We do not want court to grant him bail. Why would court be granting him bail? Is it a bail that uh, they are going to grant him? And then in the, the next night, the unknown government will go there and kill him. 
So we don't want that kind of uh, even a granting of bail. If you are going to grant him bail, you grant him bail and allow him to travel abroad. You cannot grant him bail and allow him to go and stay in a place where he will be assassinated just the way you wanted to assassinate a, a, a Baris de Jofo. We don't know. We don't want that kind of bail. So he's going to be there. And believe me, like I said, so many freedom fighters who have succeeded in liberating their people, some of them or most of them led the liberation of their people and freedom of their people from the prison room. From the prison room. That is not to say that you must get, you must get your freedom from prison. That is not to say that you must be in prison to get your freedom. For those who are jubilating about Mazinam Dikano arrested and sent to prison, Olusegun Obasanjo, who was the man behind the Nigerian democracy in 1999, he came all the way from prison to become your president in Nigeria. Olusegun Obasanjo came out of prison. What, what offense was he tried for? I want to I want to ask you why did Obasanjo went to prison? What was the reason for Obasanjo going to prison in Nigeria? I am asking you, what was the reason? What was the reason of Obasanjo going to prison? <coughs> you don't remember. You will not. Some people, some people who are one Nigerians, some people are, you know, some of them one Nigeria, hey, Biafra is over. Mm -hmm. I am asking you, do you know the reason why Obasanjo went to prison? Do you know? You do not know. You do not know. Obasanjo went for, to prison for the same crime you are charging Mazinam Bikanu today. Obasanjo went to prison for the same crime you are you are charging Mazin Namdekano or accusing him of. Are you aware of that? Are you aware that Obasanjo went to prison for the same crime? Do you know that Nelson Mandela, you celebrated in your country? Nelson Mandela, some of you are, you know, molding his uh, status. Nelson Mandela that is winning award all over the world. Nelson Mandela that is being celebrated by the United Kingdom, America, and all over the world. Do you know that Nelson Mandela was in prison for the same crime you are charging Mazin Amdikano? Are you aware of that? Are you aware that Nelson Mandela was in prison commanding and directing the destruction of government facilities in South Africa? Do you know that? You don't know that. That's why I say some of you who are young, should go and do research. Go and do research. This is the beginning of a big thing to happen. Do you know that so many people have been sentenced to death in Nigeria only for a new government to come in and give them presidential pardon? Do you know a person called Oladi Kodia? Do you know so many people were sentenced to death claiming that we are planning coup against the Nigeria government, and it was called the treason. Do you know of a general called General Oladik Bodea? Do you know about the trial of General Oladik Bodea? Do you know where he is today? You don't know. You see, Nigeria have done a lot of evil. The reason we are leaving Nigeria is very genuine and very understandable. And let me tell you, for some of you, who are claiming that, oh, now Biafra, uh, the, the commander has been arrested, Mazinam, the Kanu, the leader have been arrested. You don't even know what is coming to you. Do you know that the terrorist group have now joined and joined alliance and they are together? Do you know that the Iswap and Boko Haram are now together? Do you know that none of these people, none of the people, none of Boko Haram members are facing trials anywhere in Nigeria? What they do is they arrest them, they give them cloth, they give them uh, training, they send them back to the society. Some of them join the army. All the things happening in, in Imo State, the, most of the soldiers going there to kill people are from Boko Haram. And let me tell you, they are coming for you. If you watch my program two days ago, I said, 
In the next six months, what will happen in the southern Nigeria will compel every leader to beg ESN to come and defend the people. How many of you? How many of you are listening to that program? How many of you are listening to when I was saying it a few days ago? I think two days ago. I said, the intelligence report we have is that the terrorists are coming. And in the next six months, in the next six months, you are going to see them begging ESN. Not only ESN. I said they are going to beg even OPC. I said that the leaders in the South would beg even other militants. How many of you listen to it? Okay, now you know the reason. Now you know that whenever we speak, it is the voice of the Spirit. I said, in the next six months, you will see what will happen in the southern part of Nigeria. Iswap is there. Boko Haram is there. They have joined forces. And the northern elders have come to claim that no, no territory is under Boko Haram control. The Zulum of Borono State, Governor of Borono State, Governor Zulum, has come to say no territory in his state is under Boko Haram control. That is because they are ready. They know that the military will be sent to the south. Boko Haram and Iswap will be sent to the south. And they are going to kill our people. And after killing our people, your governors will come out and regret what they have done. They are going to beg ESN. And Mazenam Dikano will be in prison. Why this will be happening? You are going to beg for ESN to defend you. And believe me, the problem here is you. Mazenam Dikano have the heart of lion. Mazenam Dikano will be fine. The question now is, what about you? Are you a conquered person? Do you think that you are giving up on Nigeria? Do you think that you are giving up on Biafra? Do you think that now you have just decided, okay, let them just come and kill us. Let everybody just die. Do you think that you are just saying, you know, okay, Fulani can come and take over our woman, our women and our children. Are you thinking that, okay, now they have arrested our leader, so the Fulani should just come and run over us? Is that what you are thinking? No. It is time to rise up. It is time to tell them that Namdi Kano is one person. It is time to tell them that Mazin Namdi Kano is just leading the Biafra struggle. It is time to tell them that the Biafra people, over 70 million of Biafrans, are the ones supporting and sending Mazin Namdi Kano to protect the people and fight for the freedom of the people. It is time to show the Nigeria government and the world that we are going and we have decided to leave Nigeria. It is time to show the government and the international community that Biafra are ready to die instead of continue to be one Nigeria. And let me also make it very clear. What we are asking is that we are asking to live like the people in the United Kingdom. We are asking to live like people like the European Union. We are asking to live like people in America. You cannot be dividing yourself along tribal line and you want us, the Africans, to continue to live in our dangerous diversity. In a diversity where Pantami, a terrorist, a confirmed terrorist, is a minister in Nigeria, a minister of communication. He is being sent to be a delegate to go those who will go and discuss and negotiate with America with the Twitter. And he wants to put his name there, they remove Pantami in the name, thinking they are going to deceive the American people issuing the visa. So it is not too much to ask. What we are asking is a just, it's a just, it is something that is our right, and we are going to be asking it until we get it. And like I said, we are going to get it either in peace or in pieces. So I, I call on Biafra today to all calm down and remember if this is a prophecy fulfilled, what tomorrow will bring is something that nobody knows. On this note, I strongly say, may God bless Biafra. May God bless you. May God bless ESN. May God bless Mazinam Dekano. And may God bless IPOB worldwide. May God bless you. The work is now doubled. We are going to work night and day. We are going to double our work. 
we are going to double the hours we spend